All right, guys, as you can see here, there's a little sticker that you need to cut through. Um, I don't really like cutting through these things, but if only I could keep it in one piece, but you have to. It forces you to cut through the sticker, which is a bit of a pity there, if you ask me. Let's see, what's this little thing here? Could this be a gyro or some kind of... I don't know, manual is contained inside the cardboard. I have no idea what that is, but... Uh, you've got a whole bunch of parts in here. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so it doesn't come with any of the electronics. That's kind of lame. I thought it might have some electronics. It does have the shocks here and the oil for the shocks. And it's got a good tool to... Good little wrench thingy jigger here. It's got a bumper and a whole bunch of plastic parts here. And this is the chassis itself. It's all plastic or aluminum. Can't really tell at that point. And the instructions. Well, yeah, that's all that there is in this box. So. I don't know. They always, you know, have pictures and things. So I did expect some electronics, like maybe a motor or something. But um, I guess there isn't any of that in here. Huh. Well. Well, we'll see if we can install it and uh, put it together and put some of the stuff that I already have. But if not, then um, I guess I'm going to have to send this back because, well... <laughs> Well, well, why is it that they always put things in the pictures that are not supposed to be in the picture? Like, you look at this thing here, like there's a motor, there's a battery, there's an ESC. Uh, yeah, and the box does not have any of that. Huh, well. All right, guys, well, that's uh, kind of disappointing, but um, it is what it is, and um, I'll see you in the next one.